This is Cantalus for the Phoenix Realms Minecraft server with another video on setting up a Minecraft server with bucket and plugins. Now, I'm currently using Minecraft 1.5 and Minecraft 1.6 has come out today, but there's not a new bucket build up for it yet. So I'm going to go ahead, keep on going with the 1.5 stuff, and then in a later video I'll show how to do a conversion to a new Minecraft version. Fortunately, it usually isn't too bad. But for now, I'm going to install another plugin. This one is Command Book. It's by the same person who made a World Edit, and so they go nicely together. And I just like this one because it has some handy commands, like Thor to strike things with lightning, but also some fairly useful ones like a Where Am I and uh, some things for messing with people a bit. But changing the weather, setting the time, that's one of my favorite ones. That way I can always make it morning when I'm trying to build something as an admin. So anyways, going to go ahead and install this one. So at Command Book, it's currently at 1.5. And note that the uh, bucket version that it's for is 7.53, and I'm using, uh, I think, 7.66, or no, upgraded to 8.03, I think it is. But I think it still works, so I'm going to at least give it a shot. So I'm going to download here for 1.5.1, and ooh, you can get all these fun things to customize things. And so for these, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it with the defaults, but you might want to take a look at these if it's of interest to you. And gonna go ahead and download this. And as usual, we're gonna open up the zip file and drag and drop over mainly just the .jar file is the one that we need. The README and all that stuff is very useful and handy to read over at some point, especially if something doesn't work and you have questions. But for now, I'm just gonna take the commandbook.jar and plop it over in our little server's plugin directory. Now I'm gonna start up the run.bat so that way it can initialize things. And here we go, it's got stuff about command book 1.5.1, customize enabled, and it's made the configuration files, it's got one kit loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the server with stop here in the little command box and enter. All right, so now we can go back into the plugins folder and it's made its world edit folder. So here's our config file. Oh, my bad wrong one. We're looking at command book. There we go. And here's its config file. So also, uh, while we're here, let's take a look at the kits. This is, as the little intro thing up here notes, a really handy way. Say you want to give um, all of your players like a stone set of tools, because it's a real pain to go around with wooden sets of tools. So you want to give them a stone pick, stone axe, that sort of thing. You can set that up in here. And note that here, uh, command book is nice enough that you don't have to use the value IDs. You can actually use the names of things. So as an example here, they have the starter kit with the wood pick, wood axe, wood shovel, and 64 pieces of wood to just get somebody started. But you can make your own kits down here also. But back into the config file, fitted it with notepad double plus. Here's a few things like if you're not using permissions, this stuff about ops is just kind of the default Minecraft way of handling permissions, which either gives you super user powers or it doesn't. Not nearly as customizable as the permissions plugin. So that's what all this is for. And you can set up a message of the day. And so it has a little default one here. I'm going to go ahead and change this. Note that it has some bits in it that are um, like strings. Like here is name in percent signs and time in percent signs. So that will show your name, like Cantalus in my case, and the time, whatever time it is here in your server. Stuff like that. So I'm just going to take out the bottom line. going to leave, I think in general it's safe to say that like with this little uh, apostrophe 2, if you don't really know what that is, it's probably important. I'm fairly sure that that actually just changes the color to gray, if I remember right. But if you don't know what it is, probably a good idea not to mess with it. But I'm just going to write in here that this is my message of the day, MOTD, just so that I'll know that that's what that is when I log in. Here's the rules. You can access that by a slash rules. So if you want to put all the rules for your server, you can put them in here. Something to note, and I'll probably end up saying this a few times as we're going through different plugins. Over here, note that these are not tabs but there are in fact four spaces. So if you start a new line here, say you want to add another rule, you can hit enter. And I'm going to do a backspace to take out the tab that it put in by default and put in one, two, three, four spaces and rule three in here. 
And so be careful with that. I know that's one of the things that messed with me a lot when I was trying to get some of these set up for the first time, is that it looks right if you have a tab there, but it's a very picky and a tab will not work and you will get an error message. So you can set up some different permissions if you want to uh, give your moderator certain permissions for items. Um, say, for example, you do not want your moderators to be able to have lava. Well, you can put in disabled items lava in here. Or if you just want your moderators to be able to uh, just spawn out of nowhere cobblestone and nothing else, you can put cobblestone in here. And for example, you've got item names, that way you can set those up. So that way, this tells it that the item ID 41 is gold block. So while we're talking about that, let's go ahead and look up the data values. I have it as something fairly just about bookmarked in here. But this is through the Minecraft wiki, and so it's just minecraftwiki.net slash wiki slash data underscore values. And this lists all of the block IDs and all of the item IDs. So when you're talking about creating an item or in config files where you're talking about a specific block, this is where you're going to want to look for those numbers. And I usually use the one that's DEC, the decimal value in here. And I've never really messed with the hex much. Pretty sure they still work, but I figure it's not really worth messing with all that. So this way you can find out, uh, say you want to, once we get into the game, spawn some glass. Well, it's number 20. So let's take a look at that once we fire up the server. So we're going to go ahead and go back to this config file, just kind of finish up here. The time and weather, if you want those to send a message to everybody on your server, so it'll be like, oh, hey, the admin just changed the time of day. That's what these little things are for. I'm just going to leave those to default. You can set them in something cool here if you want, but I'm just going to leave those as they are. And I'm going to go ahead and save and close this. All right, now let's bring back up the server and do the run.bat, fire this puppy up. Now here, we've got in permissions, uh, the world edit and command book have linked in with permissions, and I have myself set up as an admin, so I have the dot star, or sorry, just star. So that means I've got all the commands at my disposal. I'll do a later plugin on configuring a permissions file later. But let's go ahead and start up the server. And remember that the new version of Minecraft is out now, so I'm going to have to tell it to not update when we do this. No, and there it goes updating anyways, because this one is just not very smart. So okay, it's updated to 1.6.4, so I'm going to have to go and find the new installer and try to go back in time to 1.5. So hold that thought. Alright, so the bad news is there's not a nice easy way to downgrade in Minecraft. Uh, I'd recommend the notch get on that. But for now, basically what you're looking for is somewhere on the internet where somebody has posted the old uh, Minecraft.jar file. So that way you can use that instead of the new one. So here's the MinecraftToolbox.com site on reverting from Minecraft 1.6 back to 1.5. So first off, we're going to have to download the old file. And be careful with this. Um, I think it's alright because, well, I bought the game and I'm just trying to get back to the way it was. But eh, we'll see. So anyways, going to go ahead and download that. And it's going to take a sweet time doing it. Save that file. Now what we're going to have to do is follow the instructions here. Now it says for Windows, hit the Start button, type in this stuff right here, and I'm going to do that. And here is our Minecraft bin folder. Now it says uh, to copy over the Minecraft.jar to overwrite this existing one right here. So that's what I'm going to do. and move and replace. Now, having learned my lesson, I've been using the uh, old um, loader for quite some time just because it's handy. Now this time I'm going to use the new loader because it actually asks me if I want to upgrade or not. So here is the new loader 
and when I log in here there we go Minecraft beta 1.5 so let's go back in hit multiplayer and here we're at local host and connect and we're back in so alright so notice here's our message of the day we've got the time 6.52 in the morning and my name and notice that those are both in gold and yes this line in here was in gray like I thought it was so anyways if we here's a few of the basic commands like time morning so here we go now it's 8 a.m. and don't have to worry about skeletons and zombies coming after me there's a whole lot of options in here I'll probably look at them some other time but that's the basics on how to install this and on how to revert your client if you accidentally install one basically just keep an eye out online probably gonna have to do some Google searching because there is not at least right now a very handy way to revert 